What is going on? Kind of fools here with a defensive um, playbook and defensive play to help you stop your cheesy routes online. Um, the playbook is, as you'll see in a couple of seconds, the Patriots playbook. Um, they have a hybrid defense. They have the four three, the three three four. They have the play I will talk about, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I like this. It was between the 49ers playbook and this playbook. Um, but I like this playbook because there's more, you know, it's a hybrid defense. And the 4 is pretty good against the option if you know how to use it in that. So the 4-3 offers run stopping and the 3-4 offers kind of a, a pass defense. So that's why I went with the Patriots playbook over the 49ers playbook, and the Patriots playbook has the exact plays I need to stop all the cheese players online. So, um, the three four you're gonna see this uh, the in this video. The four three also has this play, but it's a cover four with two linebackers in yellow zones, as you're about to see right there. And you got your four, you got your two corners go back in deep zones, and your safeties in deep zones. Your linebackers go into the purple zones, effectively eliminating the sideline routes, um, corner routes, out routes. You you know what I mean. And it's it's not gonna work a hundred percent of the time. So, you know, this video is just showing how to do it and whatnot, and then. And then you got the you got the odd formation and the solid formation. One of them is kind of a a more pinched formation, so it might take a little bit longer for your linebackers to get to their zone. Uh, I prefer the solid one because it it's more um, it's quicker to get them to the zones, which you need basically. And it has a cover two play, which if they decide to keep dinking and dunking, um, you could just do that and then put your defensive tackle in a uh, a yellow zone. To protect from over the middle, so um, I'm gonna do five wide, and I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do a post route to the sideline. It's the most common one. Um, few add-ons here. I won't. Some, I do it sometimes in the video. Um, I guess pass. You should always guess pass when you feel there's a pass because if you run in zone, it's gonna make your linebackers jump routes. It's gonna make them follow some receivers instead of just standing in the zone hoping that they ran the ball, which the computers do on this game for some reason. Um, you'll see it a couple times, and then when I do a um, uh, guess pass, they will they'll cover a certain guy instead of just standing in their zone. Um, also for this this play, if you're really good with controlling the linebacker, this is perfect for you. You control one of the linebackers, you stop over the middle completely, which is a problem here. As you see, if you see where the deep zone is, the safeties, and where the... Um, middle linebackers are then there's a little hole there that's always wide open and I'm controlling the end just to show you the route and where it goes it'll go through the purple zone and then right between like the sideline between your corner and your outside linebacker so this this play is not sh a shutdown play if you're expecting a shutdown play I really don't have a complete shutdown play I have plays that can either shut down the play or just contain it. And that's what this is for. Um, it's just to contain the sideline routes because um, as you s we're going to look at Kenny Stills. He's RB. He's in the slot. So as you see at the route, they'll usually try to time it to either lob it or just, uh, uh, what is it? I can't think of the word. To um, bullet pass. That's what it is. And as you see there, it, there's a little kind of a glitch thing. He'll run a kind of an out route instead of that post route. And it, it pretty much will stop. Like, it's this is about containing it. And then there, that's usually the average person person online is they will, they will tie, they try to time it right when they come out of it or when they come out of it, like, when they're in the middle of the, the slant in the post. And that gives you time for the see. Usually, if they time it before they make the post, they'll do the out route. But usually online, they'll wait for them to do the slant in the post, like right there, and it's usually covered. 
And usually there's, your slot guy is a small guy. Sometimes, a lot of people actually put their number one receiver in that position, so it's kind of hard to stop. But it's about containing the play at like a 75% rate. Um, because that's all people do around the line is run the sideline routes on third and ten. So this gives you an easy way to contain it. And what I found on people online is they'll just look at one guy. They're like, okay, third and ten money play this guy's always open and then they'll run it and it doesn't work but they'll keep running it because they think oh he got lucky so this this is just a mere mind game basically is oh always oh, running zone the guy's gonna be wide open and then the outside linebacker pushes back when he's about to throw the ball um so basically that's i just this play just works i don't know it's just it just happens i uh, like cover four has always kind of been good last year it was but one of your linebackers would only be over the middle um leaving leaving the middle completely wide open on slants and whatnot and it's too much work for one middle linebacker to cover two or three guys over the middle so now that you have two middle linebackers in a zone you have you know more roam basically it's it's just covering the second level and the third level Make sure there's no big plays happen or anything. Um, so, it, it stops curl routes. It stops the the post routes. Out routes, it kind of, it doesn't really work unless it's a deep out route. If it's one of those small ones, then it's it's not going to stop it. But the the bright side of this is, um, if you run with like a hybrid team, like the Bills or a hybrid team or the Patriots. They have outside linebackers that can force fumbles on pretty much any hit. So if they decide, okay, this guy is not allowing me to throw the ball medium to deep passes. I'm just going to do a dink pass to my running back to the, the flat. Your linebackers are at hit stick and fumble. That's where I get most of my fumbles is the just hit sticking them like that. So it pretty much covers everything or contains it, which you need in this game. If you force a turnover, you just go back and forth scoring and scoring. That's when almost my games go on nine. And you get that one turnover, then you're probably going to win the game unless you turn it over. So this play just offers that to just mind game it. Is, hey, I know you're cheesing. I got a play that could contain it or force a turnover. Um, also, uh, yeah, guessing pass, you don't see me do it much here. You just see it do it sometimes. Um, but pretty much that helps the play way much, way better because of the zones. So, um, um, you can see here, it kind of doesn't look like it's going to work, but I know how to, I know how to time it. I, I kept trying to like, I don't know, mess with it, but that's right. There is the perfect. That's when he comes out of the break. That's when people like to throw it and they will throw it right when he goes into that slant. And usually it's either tipped or picked off. So. Here I show man. Another thing you do, this is just a quick add in, is you shouldn't do it in a 3 4 when he has four receivers. I'm just showing it. Um, so when you have a corner, it works more effectively. You hold LT, click A for individual, and then you click the target you want to cover. If they're going to a right side sideline route, you shade right, left side, shade left. What that I'll do will just keep them on that side of the player. So if he makes, as you can see, when he's doing the. Um, this post route, he'll stay on the, you know, on the right side of him. Uh, I don't recommend covering him on the linebacker, but the corner, it's it's just another effective way to stop him. Um, I just decided to throw that in because it's it's a pretty known tip, but it also works in this defensive video, how to stop defense, like offense cheese. So usually they'll shade and they'll cover that side, and usually they'll pick it off. So if you run into problems with that, the cover four zone, then just run a nickel man and put your ends in the purple zones, which is, I think it's up on the D pad and then left on the, on right on the left analog stick. So put your ends in that when you run man and it, that's another way to stop it um, without the shading. But if you're just doing a regular man and you want a pass rush, then you could shade them um, as you see right there. Um, it, corners are going to do better in this, not Manny Lawson, so. Um, 
Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, here, I think I show you the other one. But the linebackers are kind of like, they're all pushed in. Um, but yeah, going back on the guessing pass thing, I think this is the that's the biggest thing because your linebackers, in this formation, see how, look they, how close they are. They'll pretty much stay there the whole play if you do not guess pass. If you guess pass, they'll kind of go back in the zone a little bit. Um, as you see here, kind of, it's more the they're not in the pass rush your formation. They're kind of just lined up as the linebackers, so it means they're going to get to that zone quicker. So if they're running quick um, pass plays, this one's kind of more effective. Um, but it doesn't have that cover two play, so you kind of have to make shift that cover two by putting your ends in there, giving you one pass rush or so. I like the I like the solid one because it offers more offers more in a you know in a quick sense. I can audible right into it and have the play I want right away. And as you see, when they try to do the quick ones, when they try to release it really quick, the guy's gonna be there right away. He's basically been playing man coverage on him. Um, as you see, Colson, I cut them in a curl route. Sometimes the linebacker will try to jump that route, thinking you're passing to it. It's just going to happen. Um, and he's going to be open, too. So if somebody just throws a curve out to him, he'll get hit. But nobody really runs those, the, like, two or three step curl routes. They'll usually put him on a vertical route to try to back the safety off or the corner, whoever's covering him. Which I do is I'll put, I'll run the smash play in a five wide and put my X and B receivers going deep. Um, so, yeah, in the cover four play, if they're trying to do sideline routes, you got two guys on on already. Either he's going to catch it or he's not going to catch Well, that's obvious, but either he's going to catch it and get a couple of two yards after the catch or he's going to catch it and drop it. That's pretty much how it's going to go. It's just it's not shut down, but it's it's more of a contained type of thing. Because if you can just one lucky, like he does one mistake and you can win the game. You, you just it's just like that. there I show the out route just, but it was it was the short one it wasn't the deep one but as you can see Manny Lawson picks six six and he can hit stick people in the game so if he gets one on one with the guy he will possibly make him fumble so the the short passes aren't really covered but you you know you'll, you're getting a free hit on these guys and they will fumble so it's the bright side of that is you don't really worry about the about the flat because everything's covered after that. And it's gonna be a tough time for him to just burn your whole team unless you miss a couple tackles. So, um, is it, well, only thing in this cover four is, like I said, that middle is gonna be wide open. But if you control the linebacker, that's completely out of it. I don't control the linebacker because I have terrible reaction time to it. So, I would control the end or the defensive tackle. Um. So, stills will get open over the middle with that in route. But if you guess pass, your one of your inside linebackers will jump the route. Um, what guessing pass does is basically, as you can see, Kiki Alonso, number 50, was covering Jimmy Graham when he was doing that the post route or the slant route, whatever. Um, so, that's what guessing pass does for you. It'll just give you, your linebackers will cover on one guy the whole time. I think I do it here again, but. Um, let's see, but yeah, that's the best, oh, th okay, this is the end here, um, if you're playing a mobile quarterback, you can still run the cover four, it's kind of hard to, but what you should do is put like, somebody to keep you spy, and I recommend your defensive tackle, because if you have your end rushers, it kind of, you know, it'll push the pocket a little bit, so it has to go back a little bit farther, um, so putting that QB spy in the middle, you, you you right off it, and then your ends will push him a little bit farther back. So if he does decide to run, he's got to do a couple extra yards, and you can um, what is it? You can cover it more effectively. So if you do run to a mobile guy, always put your QB spy in your your in the three four, put in your defensive tackle or your nose tackle. Four three, one of your defensive tackles because if you have an edge rush, it's gonna kind of going to close the pocket on him a little bit and it might get easy sack so um, that is it for this
four play. If you have any more questions about the play, I'll ask them in the comments below. All my information is in the description. My Twitter you should follow. Um, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, questions, you know, you can answer, I'll answer them below. There's nothing big about that. Um, I'll do more defensive plays once I find more of them. I might do a, a redub of this video once I learn more about it. Maybe an easy way to stop every play. Um, pretty much that's it for the video. Of course, you can see the black screen. So I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.